Hey everybody, hope you're well, and it's James here over the part-time entrepreneur. And literally as I was doing my little roundup video today, because I've, I've been away for a little bit, recording, doing some uh, other bits and pieces, and uh, I just happened to check my uh, block folio, and it had jumped like seven or eight grand. I was like, huh? What's going on? And then I looked, and it was Bitcoin, uh, and a couple of other coins, obviously, and I'll talk about them later, that have absolutely rocketed at the moment. So, uh it's great to see this all-time high. Uh, one of the big things is I I'm glad that I'm not crazy, which is quite good. So when I was not shilling this, but trying to educate and tell people about you know this new currency that was happening, and uh, when it was seven hundred and fifty dollars at the start of uh, January, and this little thing called Ethereum at eight dollars, you know people you know people wouldn't listen in they were they thought i was crazy now i'm unindated my inbox uh, anywhere i go people want me to tell them about bitcoin or their friends know someone that you know they want me to tell them about bitcoin because i've helped them make money or whatever it is uh, and it's just gone crazy absolutely crazy um but it's great to see it's absolutely great to see now i've got some theories about this of why um bitcoin is going so fast so quickly uh, and i think we're gonna exceed all expectations now i've got my own personal views on this and i'll talk about that so so i've got some real strong reasons why i think bitcoin will become uh, 40 grand a coin very soon and i also believe that it will be um i think we'll see a, a, a trillion dollar market cap by the end of this year for Bitcoin. So that takes it to $66,000, especially with some of the stuff I'm seeing where they reckon it'll be a $2 trillion market cap. Now for the total market that is. So the first thing is, is mar you know news coverage, major news coverage. Now, obviously when it hit on uh, BBC only what, a few weeks ago, you know, it had a massive impact and the news and TV has a huge impact. That's why big brands advertise on TV because they know it's the quickest way of influencing people to be able to go and do something. Now, the other thing is, is um, I've been in network marketing companies for, for many years and the whole premise of building a network marketing business is to build quickly and with scale and education and, and all the rest of it. And there's a lot of coins out there where there are some people that are just just got lucky and made it big. And then there are some people out there that are professional network marketers and they've come to the marketplace to grow scalable businesses very, very quickly. Now, I'm in some groups where there's already 18 millionaires through network marketing, through using uh, Bitcoin, uh, through USI Tech and all these types of things. So. These, these people are building scalable businesses, influencing people, and they're doing it really simply. Like, I know for me and many others that maybe watch the channel that, you know, we're buying Bitcoin to be able to go and trade. We try and buy the next, you know, buy some Ethereum, then we buy the next ICO, and then we invest and we sell some, and we reinvest it in some, uh, some other coin we think is going to go big, or a platform that's going to launch, or whatever. We get quite complex in how we do it, where... With the network marketing stuff like USI Tech or, or ETH Connect, something like that, it's just, here's some money, you put it over here, and it makes more money. Happy days, I'm happy with that. Do it again. Now, you know you can make money doing that. Now, if you just get somebody else in to do the same, you make even more money. Do you fancy getting more people in? Yeah, of course I do. And then all of a sudden, the fire, you know, it's just fuel for the fire. Uh, and, and I think that is a one of the big growth drivers as well so there's all that, that, that that's a whole community on its own that's building there's also the fact that people are understanding blockchain and what it means and what it can do um and obviously we're seeing a lot of countries bringing out their own currency now and obviously that having a huge impact and people really understanding that you know it's not just bitcoin bitcoin is like it's like the poster boy of cryptocurrency and it's actually the underlying technology that once people get to grips with and understand, um, they'll really get it. You know, I work for Cadbury's, most people know that. And, you know, looking for ways to be, you know, greener in how we do things, uh, you know, grow a sustainable business, more profitable business, you know, just standard business things. Uh, and I've just, you know, emailed our head of Northern Europe to, to try and introduce him to blockchain and say, look, you know, these are the ways that these particular companies could help us. Uh, going forward, you know, the likes of Unilever, Mars are already signed up, so it, it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. 
um, if they listen or not will be another thing um, also the other thing is we don't like to miss out people are seeing this go rise I mean I know I had a couple of people sit down with me a few weeks ago and they said you know you come to me when it was like 7.50 and I didn't listen um, you know I was wrong show me how to get started uh, and they got well some of them got in at 10 some of them forgot to buy hey ho um, but you know that's the way it goes but we don't like to miss out so there's a lot of you know speculation a little bit at the moment like people getting in but I think um, you know I hold quite a bit Bitcoin and I'm quite happy to just sit on it I'm not really interested in you know trying to trade every little bit of margin or whatever bought it in a, in a ledger sit on it I'll, wait, I'll come back in two three years time when it's worth monty loads and uh, and then cash in or, or buy some stuff with it you know uh, and the other one is the application of the blockchain to chain technology so now we're getting to a point where there's all these concepts there's all these brilliant ideas but actually some of the the fruits are starting to uh, blossom and we're starting to see some you know real results uh, and real actions coming to to forefronts and platforms launching and coming live now the amount of platforms that are going to be launching between now and the end of quarter one in 2018 is loads so it's going to be so much price action a lot of people trying to get into these these new companies and we all know that the entry point into coming into the marketplace is bitcoin you've got the exchanges where you can buy ethereum litecoin and stuff but you know the exchanges really accept other sort of uh, Ethereum or, or Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is the the one that everybody wants and everyone's heard of and stuff. So there's, there's quite a lot of things. I mean, I could probably write another three or four pages on why I believe that Bitcoin is going to be as big as it is, and and some of the drivers and all the rest of it. But but these are some of the ones that you know I think are quite big uh, and really stand out. Now, LA Token have done a bit of a research project and they're sort of calling that the, the cryptocurrency market space will be uh, 5 trillion by 2025. Now, if we take some of the, the, the stuff that Michael Novogratz is saying in terms of, you know, he reckons it's going to be 2 trillion by the end of uh, 2018, then these numbers are way off. Uh, but they've done a bit of research in terms of how many wallets they think people will have and how, on average how much Bitcoin people have. Uh, so on average, there's something like $100 of, of Bitcoin in current wallets or something like that. So, you know, check out the paper. I've started to read it, but just reading and seeing the market as it is, I think this is out of date already. Um, I think if we keep going at the rate we're going, uh, you know, probably 2020, 20, 2021 or something would be $5 trillion. Um, And we'd be, we'd be looking at a completely different marketplace and a completely different game as well. So my big ICO call for December is INS. Now, if you've been following me, you would have known that last month's was uh, Coben Hood. And if you got into Coben Hood, then you've obviously made a lot of money. So INS, what are they trying to do? Very quickly, because I've already done a, a whole video on this. They're basically trying to create an online platform for your grocery shopping and in the process, making it more efficient uh, reducing food miles and therefore being able to pass that cost on to the consumer the you and I of the world so we can buy our groceries online for a lot cheaper that is the basic premise with a whole marketing piece using the token uh, where suppliers can incentivize uh, consumers directly that is the basic premise check out the video in a lot more detail try and understand it more I'm in the industry I work for Cadbury's um, we, I, I understand the pressures and the problems that we, we face daily and this is a huge answer to that and there's already big guys already signed up Mars already signed up Unilever already signed up and then there's some other big companies signed up but I'm not allowed to say so but loads of news coming soon and it will come on this channel first because uh, I have a direct relationship with Peter over at INS uh, very good team very good guys very uh, informative all the time keeping me up to date with things and then it allows me to do these videos and keep you guys updated as well but hard cap uh, smashed in four hours it's up to 70% now this is selling out fast uh, at the rate it's going a uh, couple well three four days and I would have thought this ICO would have ended uh, and there'll be no more tokens left so do check them out 
do your research and uh, and definitely have a look at these guys. They're also going to be going live on Hit BTC, Livecoin, uh, Ether Delta. There's a whole bunch. Next uh, week or two, there's going to be loads more exchanges um, unveiled in terms of what where they're going to be listed. These these guys are coming out firing on all cylinders. They've also had some huge investors. So 2008, it's around about a million dollars. Um, from some big, big uh, capital blockchain venture guys uh, over in Australia. So, I mean, this is huge news. People are really getting behind this. Uh, and I really do think that it's going to be uh, one of the big um, big ICOs that really take off. And I'm more on the fact that it just solves. There is a, a clear problem in the industry at the moment. And these guys have just hit the nail on the head of how they can solve it. They also have a whole bunch of new people on their advisory boards. I haven't checked these guys out, but I can only assume if they're as good as the team that's in place, then these guys are going to be rock stars. So again, this week, there was another bit of news. So ETH Connect opened up the doors again, and there was an extra 2 million tokens that could be purchased at the $5 mark. Now, I've gone into my back office trying to figure out... Um, how many are left because uh, obviously i got i advised all my team to get in I, I i didn't deposit my money in time so i i've had to now buy some tokens off my team so they've sort of uh pulled together and, and sold me some bless them which is great uh after i give them the tip and got them all in and stuff uh which is good of them but yeah this this is going to be pretty big we've seen bitconnect go massive uh, and and so will this and again like i said with these network marketing type models you know it just encourages more and more people to get in and especially when they're making the easy money um, it makes it a lot easier and a lot more attractive for them to come on board so the other big news is that nice hash got hacked 62 million has gone and that's roughly around four and a half thousand uh, bitcoin so I think I think the lessons I've seen was it Trevon James had lost 111 bitcoins and stuff. You know, make sure. I don't know if that was real or not, but it looked like it might be. Uh, the biggest thing is this: keep your your bitcoin, all the rest of it, in a hardware wallet. Take it off the the internet. You know, they cost. I think it's like 69.99. Um, I think that mine was about roughly that. It just, just take them off. You got Bitcoin, just take it off, put it in a safe place. Um, don't leave it anywhere when someone could potentially get it. Get your 2FA on your um, on all your accounts and stuff. Again, just that extra layer of security if you, if you haven't got um, a nano ledger or something like that. Uh, just to make sure that no one gets hold of your coins. Because at the moment, it's this is this is what's happening. Like You obviously can't hack Bitcoin. But a lot of people are hacking the wallets or your computer or your emails or something to be able to get hold of your coins. So it's been a very kind week on the markets, which is good. Uh, but also I received my 10x card. So this is like, you know, an absolute game changer for me. So I never want to have to change my, go back to an exchange, you know, get rinsed for whatever percentage they will charge you for changing it back. And then you put it into another wallet or whatever, and then they charge you to, to put it back into your bank account and all this business. So I'm really happy to get my 10x card. Obviously, most people know that I'm quite a big holder of 10x. Uh, got a big soft spot for this. these guys. I think very open, honest company. Uh, and I think they're going to do incredibly well. But also, at the same time, I can go spend my Bitcoin. And I'm going to do a bit of an overhaul video um, on 10x soon. And just, you know, where are they with their plan? You know, even do a little video of actually spending some some Bitcoin, which is really cool. The coolest thing is this. Um, I'll just go into my wallet right now. So I'll have a look at my 10x wallet. Now, when I first put uh, like a little deposit in there because I had to pay for the card and stuff, it was 70 quid of Bitcoin. Now, they took 15 quid for the card, which is what it costs. And then that left me with uh, about 55 pounds. Now that £55, I haven't done anything with. I just left it in there of, of Bitcoin. Uh, let's have a look at very, it's 250 quid. I mean, that's bonkers. So I put 70 quid in, I get a free card, 
and I get 259 quid. You know, that's, what's that, a PlayStation 2 or something like that? Bonkers, isn't it? Bonkers. This is why I love cryptocurrency. It's awesome. So the next one is, uh, this is part of my rig that you can see here. Uh, I received, uh, I think these are my uh, these are my L3s there. But on the top row, I've got my D3s. So I had some D3s turned up. Now, one of the big questions I get asked all the time is, should I do mining? Should I just buy Bitcoin? What should I do? Um, and my honest advice is this. Mining, I think at the moment, is not very profitable. So it, for me, it's a bit of a hobby. And really, I wanted to understand the whole process of, of cryptocurrency and mining and all the technology and stuff. Because I'm not very uh, techy at all. Um, so I wanted to get into the mining. Now, the Litecoin machines, do, you know, they're doing about 450 quid to 500 quid. Now, obviously, with Litecoin prices spiking, that's uh, uh, obviously a little bit more, which is great. Uh, and obviously, about 80 pounds worth of electricity each one. You know, making 300 quid. That's not bad. But on the Dash miners, it's a very different story. So, these are two Dash miners running, and it's about 121 quid. Uh, dollars a month now I actually think that's a lot less because at the moment when I'm running the machines at uh, even just factory standard capacity what I'm finding is is that the chips are are getting too hot and then the whole machine just starts going crazy resets itself and stuff so I've actually had to uh, take the frequency down so I'm not seeing anything close to what these guys are predicting it's actually probably about 30 percent less so you're probably looking at about $90 a month, which in some cases doesn't seem like it's worth it. However, if some of the predictions that uh, have been made recently where they reckon Dash will be 12 grand a coin in five years' time, then this is more than worth doing. And I'm doing it as a bit of a hobby. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'll keep you guys updated of how profitable it is, which ones. I want to try and get hold of some S9 soon as well. So I'll have two of of all of them basically running and I can give you a bit of an update and an honest view you know if you're considering getting into mining my honest opinion at this moment in time would be if you've got profits uh, from trading or whatever use your profits I wouldn't I wouldn't physically go out and buy something right now I'd probably just invest it in Bitcoin or maybe some the old coins and you're probably gonna make a bigger return at this moment in time I mean I've spent over twelve thousand dollars on, on bits and pieces but luckily for me that that was all profit from um, when I bought Ethereum and stuff so you know take your time don't jump into mining and try and get you know because it's the hot new thing or whatever um, really check out you know crypto compare look at the numbers you know really understand what you're getting yourself into you know I, when I bought these each machine was doing three and a half grand a month and all of a sudden you know Bitmain released 30,000 of the buggers and it's, the profitability has gone way way down so that's just a bit, bit of advice keep you safe on the markets you know uh, at the, this moment in time just buy Bitcoin that would be my best, biggest piece of advice so Funfair was a big call of mine for December it's in my latest videos and we're really seeing, starting to see this motor and I think one of the things is this is I'm probably at an age where going out and just get getting absolutely slaughtered isn't not really what I want to do I like to go out more sophisticated night maybe go to the casino do a bit of gambling and stuff um, and that type of vibe and I do do a little bit of online gambling not a great deal a little bit here and there but I've, I looked at this platform and, and I really really like it I can see that there are some big backers and big investors in it already and these are the types of guys that can can get these leverage in places like Las Vegas and all these types of places so you know these guys can open doors but not only that I just think that there is there is a big there's some competitors out there but there's a big white space for someone to really fill it and use like you know the certain coins there was legend coin wasn't there you know the Las Vegas club and that sort of bit pretty much died a death but this has a practical day in day out use and in a sense, you know, if you're buying Funfair, you're buying it to gamble. And some people look at the markets as a bit of a gamble. 
uh, and it's it's quite enticing for those guys to come in. Speaking to a guy tonight about it, and and you know, I tried to tell him about Ethereum, and it just went. Uh, told him about Funfair gambling coin. He's like, "Whoa, tell me more." So, you know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta hit the right button. But most people like a little flutter. So these sort of things, um, a big business, very practical. Uh, so again, just keep an eye on this one. Um, one of the big calls out there. Also, Salt Lending. Keep an eye on that. I've seen that jump from uh, about three dollars when I was in, and now it's uh, seven and a half. I predict it will go to at least nine in the next week or so uh, so again keep an eye on that platforms going live uh, again Cobin Hood another big one that will go live 18th of December they've obviously got the platform the, the beta running at the moment obviously doing a lot of testing and stuff making sure that when they do go live that it is a uh, hundred percent ready to go uh, and again that will absolutely fly if you got in at the uh, the four cents mark obviously now it's trading at the 22 cents mark roughly uh, again going to see that to 40 to 45 cents on launch as well so, so some big price action and movement to come and the other big thing is is go over and check out the uh, new substratum website is apps it looks really cool the you know watch the video in terms of what they're doing this is going to be absolutely massive and i've done my price predictions on these things so i've already looked at google market cap taken one thousandth of that market cap and applied it to the success of Substratum and it gets you to $15 um, a token obviously this is a long-term project I think you know we may see that price next year uh, it may be take a little bit longer but I'm in for $15 dollars um, I do believe that this is a strong project it really deals with some of the real life things that we're that are going on right now obviously China Russia some of the other countries where they restrict what people can view online and these guys are trying to trying to make it free and you know open source so anybody can just get on the internet and a lot of their testing that have, they've done recently uh, has been really really positive so we're gonna see some awesome awesome stuff coming from these guys so keep an eye out check out their um, new website and if you like the video you thought it was helpful please give it a like please share and uh, comment if there's any ICOs you'd like me to cover in the next uh, few weeks. All right, cheers, guys.